If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out Mystery Retros. Their link is down below. You can get 10% off all your orders with the discount code PINGU. Of course, there's a wide range of different products, so make sure you do check them out. Hello, welcome to Footy Tic Tac Toe, the series in which you're mashing up two different things and find a player that has that in common. And today, we're joined by professional goalkeeper Mark Howard. How are you doing? How are you doing, Luke? You're right. Very good indeed. Uh, I have had actually one of your uh, former colleagues, um, Kai. I don't know if you remember him at Wrexham. Kai Calderbank, yeah, of course. Yeah, has he been on? Yeah, we recorded uh, Tic Tac Toe a couple of months ago, and he, he did quite well with his Aussie, Aussie knowledge. Oh, I bet he I bet he threw in some curveballs for you, didn't he? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. He was, he was very some interesting calls. You do run your own podcast where you get a lot of goalkeepers on, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you do check that out. I've seen the episode with Joe Wildsmith and he done one with Scott Loach as well. That's just me as a Derby fan, though, being a bit biased. Yeah, yeah we, we've had a, a heavy heavy goalkeeper base on, yeah. Like you said, the Derby ones were good as well. It's nice, though. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We're, we're our own little community, Luke. Exactly. Need to represent the union. Exactly. So yeah, let's let's try and get some goalkeepers on the grid for today. What would you like to start with uh, for your first club or nation or trophy, whatever you want? Uh, let's start nice and simple then. Premier League. Anyone from the Prem, lovely. Let me go with a World Cup winner. Anyone's won the World Cup? Uh, let's go La Liga. Anyone from La Liga? Might get a bit more specific. Uh, we'll try PSG. Uh, final one. Let's go with a beard. Anyone with a beard? Yeah, anyway. let's do that. Represent. Yeah, I, exactly. I need to grow mine. Mine's uh, not looking good so far. Follically challenge on the face, isn't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm still young. I've got years. <laughs> and the final one, let me go. You know, we'll go, since you're a goalie, let's go anyone that's a goalkeeper. Nice, yes. Yeah, cool. Right. You get to start. What would you like to uh, put on the grid? Uh, let's go goalkeeper with a beard. How thick of a beard are we saying here, by the way? That's that's you know that's the discussion. We'll have to see how yeah, beard nice. they are. As long as they got a beard, then right, that's fine. Let, let's go for the Sydney goalkeeper, Andrew Redmayne. That is a good one, to be fair. He saved those penalties to send them to the World Cup. Yeah, I think they've they've brought in that new rule to stop him doing that. Goalie's not allowed to jump around in that. Yeah, same with Martinez in the World Cup final. It seems a bit unfair. It is unfair. They just want more goals. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will go Premier League World Cup winner and we'll say Cesc Fabregas. Yeah, let's go World Cup winner with a beard. We'll go Thierry Henry. Very well-groomed oh, beard. He is, he is a, yeah. Probably one of my favourite Premier League players of all time. I thought you were going to say you're one of your favourite beards then. Yeah, top five beards of all time. <laughs> um, PSG and has a beard. There's actually a few. Got to go for the uh, goat lid on Messi though. Yeah, yeah nice. Very nice beard. Of course, yeah. Let's go goalkeeper, La Liga. We've got to go Casillas, haven't we? Yeah, you could see us. Uh, Premier League goalkeeper then, with a beard. This one doesn't have to have a beard, does it? I know he doesn't. I'll, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Just showing off now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go Alisson. Great beard. Yeah, great beard. PSG Prem, yeah. Uh, should we go Gigi Wijnaldum? Yeah, we'll go Genie. Gigi, not Genie. He's not a magician. No, that's his name. It's not Gigi. Yeah, I know, but his nickname's Gigi, isn't it? Oh, is it actually? I didn't know that. Um, let me go PSG La Liga. And we will go Keylor Navas for the goalkeepers. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good shout. Uh, and then World Cup winner, La Liga, uh, Iniesta. Yeah, Iniesta. There you go. Won the final with the goal. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Uh, cool. So no points in that first round. It is best out of five. So let's see who can get a point in the second round. Um, and I get to start. We'll go for Barcelona. Yeah, nice. Let's go Tottenham. Spurs. Nice. What should we go with next? Let's go for a manager. Uh, yeah, let's go for a manager. Anyone who's played under Pep. Let's go. Can we do retired? Yeah, yeah, they're retired. Yeah. Do that. Me and off. To be honest, they played under Pep and Barcelona. There's quite a lot of crossover there. Yeah, there's going to be a few, isn't there? Yeah, we'll make it interesting. And I'll end off with anyone from the MLS, as long as they played in the MLS at some point. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Won the Premier League? Yep, Prem title. That's a good yep. one. Um, do, 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 do. I get to start this time. Retired and played under Pep. I will go Carlos Puyol. Oh, nice, yeah. Good start. Let's go Spurs, MLS. We'll go Robbie Keane. <laughs> what a player. Yeah, what a player. He's, uh, is he doing managing or coaching somewhere? Yeah, he is. He's coaching. He's at Middlesbrough. No, he's, uh, at, uh, he's at Tel Aviv. Oh, he's out there. Um, MLS Prem title. Since he's in the news today, Wayne Rooney. Spurs Barca. Who's Spurs Barca player? There must be a few. There's a couple. It's annoying because I do this every day, so it's like just common knowledge for me. But yeah, I bet, yeah. But you've already thought of it before. It's not really the most... But you, you, you'll definitely know this player. I know loads of Spurs Madrid players. I'm trying to think of a Barcelona. Mm. One. Let's just say he's on the telly a lot. I don't know if that now is it, Dan. There's so many of them now. Every Saturday. Oh, of course. Let's go uh, Gary Lineker. 
<laughs> there we go, Gary. Yeah, Lineker nice. For uh, Spurs Barca. A bit of an older one. Yeah, nice. There's a newer one in Emerson um, Royale. Royale, yeah, the, the right back. Uh, oh, I couldn't think of his surname. Played under Pep and Spurs. Ooh, is there any City? Yeah, there's a oh, couple. Oh, yeah, Carl Walker. Yeah, there we go. Course. That's a nice and easy one. Prem title, played under Pep. We'll go goalie. We'll go Edison. There you go. Not Scott Carson. No, we could have done. Um, let me go. Let's go. MLS retired. Anyone really? David Beckham. Yeah. Uh, we'll go Barcelona retired. Ibrahimovic. Ooh, recent one. Yeah, recently retired. We'll get that. In. Yeah. Premier League title in Barcelona. Might try a bit of a risky one. I'm gonna try Eric Garcia, the centre back. I think he's left Barcelona now, though. Yeah, he did, yeah. Did he win a title at City? Yeah, he did, 20-21. Yeah, uh, nice. Good knowledge, Very fortunate. That. There's probably quite a few easier ones. Yeah, there probably is, yeah. Couldn't think of anything at the minute, but yeah. Another round, another draw. No worries. It makes it more interesting going into the later rounds, and then we can nick a point to win it at the end. And you get to start for the third round. What would you like? Yeah, we'll go goalies again. Goalkeeper. Cool. I'll say anyone from who's played in the championship. Uh be specific on a team then let's go let's go West Brom and go for West Brom in, in the championship yeah <laughs> a championship team in there let let's me see. go with a Liverpool uh, let's do played for a London team would we count Watford as London or is that is that not quite London yeah that's uh, anything within the M25 surely that counts right I know some people are like oh no Watford's not a London team because it's it's too far north let me end off with something abroad I think West Brom and abroad will be fun yeah do you know what? I'm going to go buy Munich. If you know, you know. <laughs> you clearly know. It's a nice one, that. You'll, you'll know the story. Yeah, I think I know who it is. Yeah. Uh, you get to start this time. What would you like? Right, let's go. Liverpool played in London. We're going to Nathaniel Klein. Yep. Alice right now. Yep. A lot of clubs on his career as well. I'll go for that Bayern Munich played in London. And we will go Michael Ballack. I'm going to go Bayern Munich goalkeeper. Got to be Manuel Neuer. Yeah, very good choice. A championship goalkeeper. Got to get Scott Carson in. Yeah. Liverpool, West Brom. Uh, Roy Carroll. Huh? Uh, Andy Carroll, sorry. Let's go Andy Carroll. Andy. Yeah, let's get the right, <laughs> get the right Carroll in. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> yeah, Andy Carroll does work. That's a good one. Yeah. Recent. Yeah, he was only at uh, West Brom for like six months kind of thing though, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, Liverpool goalie. Hmm. I'll go Pepe Reina. Oh, I'm going to try and get that played in London then championship. Let's go uh, Ben Foster. Ooh, I've just I've just seen what you've done there. You've literally won the round. <laughs> I was just blocking off your three there and then I didn't even see the, the diagonal. Yeah, yeah. You've got the first point of the uh, episode. The West Brom Bayern Munich, who, who was the player we just said for is that? Is it Serge Gnabry? It is Serge Gnabry because basically Tony Pulis was like, oh, he's not good enough to play for West Brom and then obviously ends up playing for Bayern Munich in Germany. And it's a good little story. Right, two rounds to go. I've got to bring it back in this next one and we will start off with... What league have we not done? Um, let's go for the Syria and let's start with Roma. That's kind of my second team. Yeah. A little bit of a Roma fan. Yeah, nice. My second team, then we'll do that then. We'll go Madrid. Real Madrid. Not not Atletico Madrid. I just no, want to Real check. Madrid. No, definitely. Let me go with... We'll go Chelsea. Uh, I'm going to throw a curveball in it. Non-international. So he's not had an international cap. Yeah. That might be quite difficult because most players that play for those top teams get an international yeah, that, cap. So that maybe uh, it might be too hard to be fair. <laughs> no, we'll have some good guesses and see if we can get anything. And I'll end off with, I think, a trophy of some sort. What will we not add? Can't really go Champions League with Madrid because that's far too easy. Um, so I'll go FA Cup winner. And then I'll go goalie. Got to be a goalie in there again, don't we? Okay, get another goalie in. Represent. Right. Yeah. I get to start this time. And we will go a goalkeeper FA Cup winner. Is, is these like, I don't know, seems really simple, but at the same time, I don't want to <laughs> mess it up. Um, we won the last FA Cup, but we'll just go Edison. They won the treble, didn't they? Yeah, they did, yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is baffling me, this. I should know these ones. Oh, I'm going to have to just, we'll go easy. Right. Goalkeeper Chelsea. We'll go Peter Check. Yeah, no. That's an easy one to check off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Roma, Real Madrid. I'll go for an Italian. Actually, there is a couple for this. There's one at Real Madrid right now, but I'll go for the more tricky one in Cassano, the Italian attacking midfielder. Yeah, let's go Chelsea, Madrid. And we'll go Eden Hazard, recently retired as well. He did indeed. So for the middle to win the uh, to win the round, who's not had an international cap and played for Chelsea? Oh, I think I've got one. I think I usually go through goalies. I think you'll find a goalie. I think, yeah, I think I've got a goalie, but I, 
I'm going to try it. I'm going to try Carlo Cudicini. A bit of an old one. I think he would have played for Italy. Uh, I don't know if he did, though, because obviously Buffon would have been oh, true, first yeah, choice for be. years. And yeah. then there would have been another one or two. And thank God he's not actually played for Italy. He's done oh, well under 21s. Well played. But not, not, not the, uh, the main international team. So I'll take that three in a row. Right. So into the final yeah. round is one all at the minute. And this is the decider who will win. Um... You get to start, what would you like? Uh, let's chuck in played for Arsene Wenger. Played under Wenger. I miss Wenger. I miss the coats. Him trying to zip his coats up. Um, let's go... Anyone who's played for Juventus? Let's go Welsh. Welsh. Very interesting. Let me go... We'll go for the MLS again. It's a nice choice. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I want to chuck goalies in again, just because I absolutely love goalies. Uh, let's go... Uh, won the Euros. Euros winner. Nice. And then we'll finish off with... What league have we not got? Maybe a Spanish league or... Do, 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 do. Oh, I'll go Bayern Munich again. Bayern Munich and Welsh, that will be a, a yeah. tricky one, yeah. Yeah, so this is a this is an unnecessary one that I know. But yeah. yeah. Is there? Nice, yeah. I'm going to go MLS played under Wenger. We have to go Thierry Henry again. Yeah. The goat. I'll go for the middle, Welsh MLS. There's actually a couple... There think, is a couple, yeah. Dotted around. But I'll go for Gareth Bale because I don't that much. I know, I know there's a. I want to say there's a defender of some sort. Yeah. Somewhere. Right. I'm going to go Welsh Juventus. Aaron Ramsey. Yep. Back at uh, Cardiff now this season. Let's go. Juve played under Wenger. Could have said Omri for that, but I'll go for the Lord uh, that is Nicholas Bentner. Lord Bentner. Lord Bentner. What a player. Bayern Munich and Euros winner. I think it would have been West Germany, wouldn't it? Who won it? What, that won the Euros? Yeah, in like the 80s or 90s, they would have won it, wouldn't they? Yeah. If you know that far back. I definitely don't know that far back. Did Spain win it? Yeah, Spain. Yeah, won. I'm going to go 12. Xavi Alonso then. There we go. Um, let me go... Yeah, let's go Juve Euros winner. Who would have been in that Italy team that just won it? Chiellini, obviously. I remember that quite well. I want to go Serge Nabry for played under Wenger and Bayern yep. Munich. Yep, so it's good, Abri. And then to block you off at the bottom there. You said you knew someone. Let's test the it. The Bayern Munich Welsh. You, you'll know him as well, to be fair. Um, it's Mark Hughes. Oh, of course he did, yeah. Great shout. Uh, and then to finish off the board, MLS Euros winner. Ooh, I think I've got one. She might be two. We're saying Spain didn't win it. Do oh, we? Spain did win it, of course, as uh, Busquets. There we go. So, yeah, Busquets in 2012. And I don't know if uh, Jordi Alba would have won it as well. Uh, I'm guessing he'd have been part of that team. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Sergio Busquets does work. Um, and he does as well. Jordi Alba also has it. Nice, good in 2012, knowledge. 2012, so there we go. We do draw the episode one all, so I'm sure we'll have to arrange a rematch at some point and see if, who can actually win. Or I can Definitely. Think of another one of the uh, football-related series that I've got. Yeah, um, let's do that. Let's do a goalie tenable. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you do check out Mark's channel, his podcast. Really good stuff over there. Uh, drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.